So hi dear Cancer, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading for all the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, this is reading from mid of the Fab till the end of Fab. This is not a love reading but whatever messages will come, I'll just tell you guys and obviously this is not going to be everyone's story. So please don't try to fit yourself deliberately into this, right? Okay, let's see the, the overall energy for Cancer people. For this 13 days, right? Blue for you. Nine of Wands. Fighting for yourself. Fighting for something that you feel is right for you. And giving something a last chance or last go or... Cancer, you will be in this energy of not giving up on something or someone. You are like, I am going to fight for this. Bravo. Again, it could be a love situation, it could be a situation in your career, job or your personal life, whatever it is, you are ready to give it a last shot, give it a last chance or fight for it because you are in this energy of I have given so much time and energy to do something. I am not just going to leave it like that, just like that. I am going to give it a good fight. Then maybe I am going to win or lose. Hmm. Got it. Let's see in the recent past what was happening, Cancer. Six of Pentacles, okay. You were trying your best to balance a situation in your life that was not having equal give and take of energy. You were giving and giving and giving. It could be again a fin uh, financial situation. You were giving lots of money, lots of uh, help to other people and you were not receiving anything. Again, it could be a relationship where you were like giving and giving and giving to a particular person or situation and they were giving it to something else or someone else and they were not focused on you. So we will clarify this. Let's see what are your current energies, Cancer, what is happening. Four of Swords, you are in this healing mode, taking a break from everything and everyone, not uh, talking too much, not uh, making uh, too uh, uh, many noises about your things, just keeping your things to yourself, praying, meditation, learning arts of meditation and all this, breath work, healing from a pain, again, healing from something that's still hurting you. Let's see by the end of this month, what is coming towards you, Cancer. Page of Wands, okay, message communication, some kind of friendship, some kind of starting of a new connection or new situation. Again, it could be related to work or job or career or uh, love life because Ace of Cups is uh, at the bottom of the deck. So brand new beginnings are happening for you, Cancer, by the end of this week. Sometimes we don't even notice that something new is happening in our life because we are so much focused on the pain, right? That might be the case for you. Let's clarify these cards one by one. In, this, in the recent past, we had the Six of Pentacles. So, lack of equal give and take of energy. Let's clarify. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. I think, uh, Cancer, you were trying your best to make something out of a connection or situation that was not that much deep at least from the other person's perspective you felt betrayed you felt left out and you felt like okay i should move on from this situation because this is not giving me the energy of equal give and take i'm giving and giving and giving and i'm not receiving anything from this person or the situation see six of pentacles is uh yes it is equal give and take of energy but if we see this card very uh, minutely this person is just giving to one person the other person is just trying to beg for the attention thing right Although in this person's eyes, he's doing justice, but this is not the justice. So this is the perspective I got from this card after a very long time. Okay, anyway, honey. So something that you felt like uh, is has the potential to become something serious. Again, it could be a project, work situation, love situation. Uh, you felt left out. You felt kind of betrayed, right? And you felt like, okay, that's it. I have to move on. So you, are mo you were moving on in the past from something that was not working out for you. Currently you are uh, on your healing journey, praying, meditation and in, in some cases you are cutting yourself from lots of people. Let's clarify this Four of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Page of Swords, Death Card, Hangman. You are no longer looking around on something or someone. You are no longer keeping tabs on something or someone. You are like, okay, it's done. I have to see things from a different perspective. I have to see my life from a different perspective. I have to stop. 
I have to just be my own person and work on my healing, work on my spirituality, work on the way the my uh, work on the way my life is going. So you're definitely on this journey of going solo and uh, learning from the past and going towards spirituality. Beautiful. You are seeing things from a different perspective, from a different angle. You are learning, you are healing, you are growing. Beautiful energies. Uh, okay, page of wands by, uh, by the end of this month. New people, new situations, new energies. Let's clarify the page of wands. It is your Sagittarius energy. Seven of Swords, a Sun card, and the Fool card. Wow. Uh, cancer, suddenly, like suddenly, you, you can say the self sabotaging, the self lying, the self deceiving energy is going to be changed into happiness. You were lying to yourself or something or someone from a very long time. You were lying. Now you are going to see things clearly, honestly. And once you will be able to see clearly and honestly about something or someone, you will be free. You will be free like a bird. You will you will be flying. You will feel very, 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 very light. I am so proud of you, Cancer. You made it to this point by your own judgments, uh, by your own uh, energies. It was very, very difficult for you to let go of something or someone. Still, see, still you are in this energy of hurt and pain. Still you want to give it a last shot. But once you will be in this energy of, okay, I have given so much energy, time, and I have given the best to this situation, now, if it is not working out, that's not, not my problem, right? It could be, again, business work, job situation or your love life situation. You are going to come out some kind of illusion or lies or deceit and you will be, this was self-sabotaging energy. You were self-sabotaging yourself. So, you will be coming out of that energy of self-sabotaging and lies and deceit to this energy of happiness. Your inner child is going to be very happy. Cancer, <laughs> I cannot be more happy than this today. And you will be in this energy of okay, taking the leap of faith with the universe, trusting the universe with childlike innocence. You are going to start a new chapter of your life. New people, new energies going on adventurous trips. In some cases, you are going to go on desert safari or something. Hmm. You will be meeting a lot of people. Again, if you are going to move out of your room, that is important, right? So no, nothing is going to happen if you are not going to move yourself. Being active surrounding yourself with positive thoughts hmm? so it's all in you and you are going to get a lot of happiness lots of clarity the universe is going to bless you with lots of situations where you can be free lots of uh, freedom lots of uh, relieving the pain kind of energy beautiful you are going to be very happy very very happy you are going to be uh, on a high level of journey another level of journey of your life spiritual awakening lots of happiness and clarity let's see what is the guidance for you cancer beautiful energy i'm so proud of you and i'll always be proud of you okay keep going keep going you're on the right track yes okay if you're going to wait for something if you're if you're going to just be in this energy of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting about something uh, so, okay not something let's say you want to change your life right but every day you are waking up, you are doing the same stuff and you are waiting for your life to change. It's not going to happen. You have to take action, honey. If you want the changes, again I told you before also, if you want the changes in your life, you have to uh, got to take the actions. You cannot wait desperately for something to happen, desperately for something to move or desperately for something to change in your life until unless you are going to take the actions that are required for your life to change. Nothing is going to happen if you are going to sit on your ass and just watching my videos and doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, watch my videos. Please share it also. But move your butt, baby. <laughs> Learn something new. Dance form or something. And uh, just move your body. And uh, go out in the nature. Even if you are poor, go out in the nature. This is free. So the most important things in our life are completely free actually. Enjoy the freedom. So thank you so much for tuning in cancer. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. See my happiness. <laughs> Namaste.